Good morning and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. It's the end of November now and uh, there's that cool northerly breeze this morning. We've had a, a very mild November but things are changing and the weatherman said that this weekend's going to be chilly and some areas are looking at having some snow. We're going out in uh, a little smurf and uh, been getting uh, smurf ready and I've actually put the heater on inside the van to warm it up before we even start but um, most things are packed I've just got to put a bit of water in the fresh water tank and then we'll be on our way uh, one or two new little pieces of equipment that we're going to be trying out this weekend um, it is only for three nights and we're heading south along the A12 down to the uh, Thames River crossing at Dartford and then we're going to turn left along the A2 and end up in Canterbury and a beautiful place and we're going to a concert as well so we've got plenty to do this weekend and we'll take you along with us Good morning and welcome. It's uh, Canterbury Camping and Caravan Club site. We've arrived, a long journey yesterday, and uh, I think there was an accident on the A2 which closed that road and it made us uh, go on quite a long diversion. But uh, right from the um, Queen Elizabeth Bridge at Dartford right the way through there was uh, very heavy traffic and uh, made the journey longer than we thought. But we're here now, it's a little bit rainy we're going to show you around. Well it was dark when we arrived so we didn't really appreciate uh, pretty gardens and uh, the reception areas here and we pulled up just where the blue car is ahead of us and uh, parked whilst the wardens came out to us but a uh, very pleasant arrival with plenty of space here and uh, lots of grassy areas you know we really had noticed that about this site even though, even though you're on the outskirts of Canterbury it's uh, really quite quiet. I believe over the other side of the site is a hospital grounds, which uh, tend to be fairly quiet, don't they? So we're glad to see the uh, security gates. And they're closed between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. So there's no traffic allowed on site uh, during that time. And right near to the facility blocks. And here there's ladies and gents toilets. And uh, washing up areas, um, wastewater emptying and so on. Well being recognised by a few people this morning, that's the second couple that have uh, said hello. I love it when people say hello. So as you can see lots of facilities and a uh, quick scan around the site um, here. You can see there's trees, lovely grassy areas and over this side here there's the glamping tents which are look absolutely fantastic. We'll take you around the back there in just a moment. Another lovely big field here with, uh, they call it the paddock look and uh, lots of hard stands and 
grass pitches which clearly are, are used in the summer months um, and I believe there is another facilities block down here it's closed at the moment they're just using the top one which is understandable during the low season it, it's a site that's uh, it's surprisingly large it goes back quite a long way here um, and uh, the roadways are beautifully made up with the tarmac with a little sleeping policeman to keep the speed down always a problem on these sites I find when they're well made up roads people do tend to nip about on them but uh, there's a little nature reserve there. we're going to see if we can find that in a minute and uh, you can see even though at the end of November almost into December this is a very popular little place to be and here right in front of me here now is the motorhome service point and uh, drive over drain which is absolutely excellent uh, and the trees of course everywhere is looking quite bare the leaves are on the ground now but uh, even so very pretty bench over there for sitting on and the other facilities block as I mentioned just come into the uh, nature area here with the dogs this morning and it's just start to snow there's a little bit of white stuff on the ground here I don't know if you can pick that up on camera but neither dogs want to go through here <laughs> can you blame them Quite pretty though. Some benches around here. Quite a nice little nature walk when the weather's good. I think we've uh, caught it at the wrong moment. Might be brave and just go around. You can see lovely little benches to sit around here. And this side as well. Winter is setting in, so I think we're going to have to take a shortcut and return to the van. Well, we're down at the bottom end of the campsite now, and uh, an area that looks like it's reserved for tents and camping. The um, thing I like about this is that it's it's in a little dip and it's surrounded by trees, so you're going to be protected from the wind. There's nice little fences along the edge there. And it is the quiet end of the park. You're away from the road. And it's uh, at the rural end of the campsite. But just up here is more hard stands. I was just listening to the magpies a moment ago having a right old scrap in the trees there and there's one or two squirrels about um, braving this cold wind. Behind me now is the uh, Caravan and Motorhome Secure Storage Compound. It's really useful if you're uh, living in Kent and you need somewhere to put your motor caravan or your caravan over the winter months. It's all locked up and uh, security cameras and everything on there which is excellent. And uh, they're tucked away behind the trees so uh, it's not obvious to uh, campers while you're on the site. I'll well, continue with the walk around this site now. Um, I, I, I know I keep going on about it, but it really is quite quiet. Um, more grass for camping just down here. And then we break out into the area where the glamping tents are. Um, I'm going to have a closer look at these. I, I don't think we can go right up to them, but let's see what we can find. Looks like there's a nice children's playground. So uh, we now approach that, and then round the corner, we'll get back to where the entrance is and the the first facilities block. 
Great little place for the kids to burn off some steam. Little picnic table. And then there's four of these glamping tents on that side, backing onto the trees. And as we come round, you'll see another uh, waste emptying point with fresh water as well. And there's another one of these um, ready to camp number five. And uh, it looks like they're well strapped down. They're not going to blow away, but they're on a, a wooden base, which is good. So they're off the ground. And uh, let's see if we can get up close. And if I can see inside. No, I can't. The blinds are all pulled down. But uh, storage box and uh, doormat <laughs> and lighting on the uh, veranda here. So you can see they're all got electric on board by the looks of things. And there's uh, what looks like they've possibly got water in them as well. Have a look on the website. I'll see if I can put a link in the description so that you can have a look if you're interested in camping under canvas. Of course the great thing is your family can come along if they don't own a caravan or a motorhome they can come along with you as well. So that's really good. I like that. Brings back a lot of memories being under canvas. Didn't do it for that many years. Three or four. But that was enough for us. We uh, got our first caravan in 1984 long time ago hey, well, we're back to the start here that's a quick look around the site I think you'll agree it's a good one and uh, I think we paid just to, just over 20 pounds a night for our pitch with electric hookup two people two dogs and there's uh, free Wi-Fi. Phone coverage is excellent. We're just outside the city of Canterbury. And right in the corner of the site here is a little red gate which leads you out to the main road and also to the golf club where there's a nice walk in the, in the wooded area. Apparently we haven't been across there yet. But uh, this is at the back of the visitors car park and the late of rivals area uh, there's a couple of pylons run through the site here as you can see but uh, they don't trouble us um, lots of little grassy areas around the site we really like that and uh, we're um, down in front of the site near the entrance Well that's it from the camping and caravanning club site at Canterbury. A quick look around I know but uh, it's cold out here and we're ready to go off exploring. So we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye now.